So with 2023 now behind us, I thought we'd use today's video to count down the 10 best sets of away fans to visit Deepdale throughout the calendar year. So for today's video, we're only going to be taking into consideration the sets of fans that visited Preston throughout 2023, whether that was from the back end of last season or the first half of this current season. If you didn't know, I am a Preston North End season ticket holder, so I've got to experience all these away fans so far. And I'll be judging them on a number of factors, whether that's the numbers they brought to deep dale but probably more importantly the noise they made i'd also like to hear from you guys in the comments down below who for you have been the best sets of away fans to visit your particular stadium in 2023 but without any further ado Let's jump into this one. Starting out in 10th place, I'm going for the Plymouth Argyle fans. Now, I have to put a bit of an asterisk next to this one because throughout 2023, I only missed, I think, two home matches. Those two home games were against Plymouth and Birmingham, but I had to include Plymouth on this list because of the unbelievable numbers they brought considering the distance between Plymouth and Preston. I did stream this game but didn't get the opportunity to go to it because I was away but the noise came through on the stream albeit I wasn't in the stadium for it. But for the Plymouth away fans to have brought 2,700 fans to a away game against Preston where it's about a 12 hour round trip is absolutely bonkers so I had to throw them in on 10th in this list. Literally the only reason I couldn't justify putting them any higher than this was because I wasn't in the stadium myself but yeah props to Plymouth fans they tend to travel really well and did so on this occasion in ninth place I am going to throw the Blackpool fans in there now there was a bit of controversy surrounding all the fixtures with Blackpool and Preston throughout our years in the championship together with reduced ticket allocations, which were a little bit frustrating, and both clubs sort of went back and forth with each of them. But Blackpool brought uh, 2,196 fans, which was a sellout for them uh, because we did limit the capacity. We obviously played Blackpool in the second half of last season, managed to get one over on them, beating them 3 1. The goals from Brad Potts and Ben Whiteman, in particular, being two of my highlight moments of the calendar year watching Preston. Honestly, the away end atmosphere was a little bit funky, really pre-kickoff and early on it was really good and they did make a decent amount of noise but as Preston started to get on top in that fixture things died down pretty quickly after that but to begin with it was a derby day atmosphere and with the home and away fans going back and forth so I thought I'd chuck them in there at ninth. As the eighth best away fans to visit Deep Dell in 2023 I'm going for the Wigan fans we played them in the back half of last season played them in February 2023 managed to beat them 2-1 but Wigan did take the lead and there were some decent limbs in that away end to be fair I know Wigan can be a little bit hit and miss on the road and sometimes their fans do get a bit of a bad rap but at Deep Dell last time around I actually thought they gave a decent account of themselves made a good amount of noise brought 3,700 fans I know it's only down the road but it is more than most clubs bring to Deepdale and overall I think a ranking of around about eighth is fair for that as the seventh best set of supporters to visit Deepdale in 2023, I'm going for the West Brom fans. In years gone by, always been quite impressed by the followings that West Brom bring. They always tend to make a decent amount of noise on the road as well. I do think you generally get that with a lot of the clubs in and around the Midlands. But the Baggies this season brought just over 2,000 fans to Deepdale and they were having an absolute party in that away end. They absolutely wiped the floor with us. There were some great limbs when they scored um, in the NB beating us 4-0, completely playing us off the pitch and honestly they were one of the best sides I saw come to Deepdale um, in the calendar year of 2023. Really good numbers, really good noise being made and I'm sure the result made it all the more sweeter for them. In 6th place, I'm going for the Southampton fans, really pleasantly surprised by uh, the great travelling numbers that came with the Saints to visit Deepdale this season and also the noise they made as well. Worth taking into consideration, they brought an away following of 1,500 581 fans whilst this was a midweek fixture coming all the way up from Southampton to Preston and then back down again on a midweek night to bring those sorts of numbers yeah fair play ended up being a really entertaining game as well with Southampton leveling it up really late on and there were some limbs in the away end the last time we played Southampton at Deepdale in the league before our meeting in October was all the way back in 2008 so I was you know far too young to remember that sort of fixture 
for what the away fans brought to it. But this time around, really good stuff from the Saints away fans and yeah, definitely deserving of a mention in this top 10 list. In fifth place, I'm going for the Blackburn Rovers fans who visited Deepdale towards the back end of last season. It was in April 2023 and I have to say it was a bit of a cracking match in the end. By this point, Blackburn's playoff hopes were still alive, albeit their form had started to tail off ever so slightly. They brought just shy of 5,000 fans to Deepdale, a total of 4,932. Yes, of course it is only down the road for Blackburn. Preston against Blackburn is one of the closest games in the EFL, so you'd expect a large following from them, but I'd say in terms of all the local derbies Preston played throughout 2023, Blackburn fans were probably the best in terms of the numbers they brought and the noise as well. I do remember that away end absolutely erupting when Sammy Smodix gave them the lead in that game really late on. He scored around about the 80th minute and yeah, it went off in that away end. But Preston did level it up late on with a 94th minute equaliser, which was nice for me. Overall though, I thought the Rovers fans were really good and yeah, I mean, they, were, they are definitely deserving of a place in this top. 10. Coming in fourth on this list, I'm going to go for the Tottenham away fans. Uh, we played Tottenham in the FA Cup all the way back in January 2023. It was a sold out away end. Uh, I think the official allocation in the end being 5,574 fans coming from Tottenham. I think as a Preston fan, I've now seen all of the traditional big six clubs come to Deepdale as away fans, so I have got to experience them all. They made a reasonable amount of noise in the first half, but it really was the second half when they started to sing a little bit more when they did take the lead and in that second half they completely played us off the park. Uh, min Son with a double and Dan Juma also getting in on the act as they beat us 3-0. But massive packed out crowd coming from London. Good noise in the second half I thought from them and you can't really argue with that. Coming in third place I had to throw the Leeds United fans fairly high up on this list. It was a sellout crowd for an early kickoff on Boxing Day. You expect Leeds to take a full allocation everywhere they go and that's exactly what they did when they came to Deepdale on Boxing Day. Now, Preston, it wasn't a happy hunting ground for Leeds on the day, despite the horrid run of form that Preston have been on recently. We've somehow managed to turn Leeds over. Uh, Liam Miller with a fantastic performance for us in that game. Speaking about the away end, though, it was a bit of a mixed bag, I thought, from the Leeds away end. In terms of when that whole crowd was in unison and singing together they did make a hell of a lot of noise but there were quite a few moments in that game where the atmosphere in the away end did seem to lull as a north end fan who's been you know going on and watching preston games regularly since about 2011 or something i've seen leeds fans come to deepdale on numerous occasions and how they came to Deepdale on Boxing Day is definitely not the best set of away fans from Leeds that I've seen come to Deepdale before. They've definitely been louder on previous visits, but being the early kickoff on Boxing Day, it was a pretty lethargic performance from them, and that was somewhat reflected in the crowd at times. Saying that, though, when they did level things up, there were some limbs in the away end. And like I said before, when they did all sing, they were really loud and made a hell of a lot of noise. But it definitely wasn't the best of Leeds fans that I've ever seen. And for me, there are at least two fan bases who are ahead of them in terms of coming to Deepdale last year. Second place on this list for me, I'm going to give it to the Sheffield Wednesday fans who were the last set of away fans to visit Deepdale in 2023. They got a cracking result for themselves, beating North End uh, by one goal to nil, and they were just consistently supporting uh, their side throughout the 90 minutes. Brought a fantastic following as well, uh, just shy of a complete sellout in the end, bringing 5,341 fans, which for a side going through the real battles that they have done so far this season in the relegation zone to bring that sort of support to Preston on a Friday night kickoff as well. You've got to hand it to them. That is absolutely fantastic support. There were limbs in the away end, serious limbs at that when they went ahead and took the lead. And like I said before, consistently throughout the 90 minutes supporting their team, getting some good chance going. And you've got to respect it. When you are down in the dumps, but your fan base stays that loyal and connected to you, you can clearly see the connection they've got with Danny Roll at the moment and how contrasting that was towards them and Zisco towards the end of his reign there. Yeah, Wednesday fans on the whole was really impressed with them, but for me personally, there was just one set of fans that edged them out of top spot. And for me personally, the best set of away fans to visit Deepdale in 2023, it was Sunderland hands down. Now we have welcomed the Sunderland fans to Deepdale on two occasions in 2023, both at the end of last season and the beginning of this season. 
By far and away, the Sunderland fans were at their best on the final match day of the 22-23 season. It was a complete sellout from them, bringing 5,714 fans. And my word, hands down the best set of fans I saw come to Deepdale in 2023, both in terms of... The, the noise they were making, the consistency of that as well. And it did probably help that it was the final game of the season. They absolutely smashed us and made it into the playoffs by beating us. All of those circumstances just played into a really good atmosphere in the away end. The limbs every time Sunderland scored just went off in that away end, especially after their Amadiallo strike. And yeah, Sunderland fans, they were still really good when they came to Preston um, later on in the year. But that first first time they came to Deepdale on the final match week of the 22-23 season. Hands down, best set of away fans to come to Deepdale this season and I think they blow everyone else out of the water really. I'd also give a shout out on this video to the Middlesbrough fans who came to Deepdale on the final game week of the 21-22 season. They were absolutely brilliant then as well. But Middlesbrough fans didn't get the opportunity to visit Deepdale in 2023 as both the games we played against them in the calendar year were at the Riverside. So look Look forward to welcoming them in 2024 but for me personally that is my top 10 list obviously this one is highly subjective and only take it with a pinch of salt but i thought it would be an interesting video concept to dive into nevertheless other than that though guys thank you very much for tuning in if you did go to enjoy make sure to leave a like and do stick around and subscribe for some regular championship content apart from that though guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one